Hello, welcome to Computer Brain Trainer YouTube channel. I am glad to have your eyes on the screen. If you are visiting the channel for the first time, I advise you hit the subscribe button in order to stay updated whenever I upload new inspiring tutorial video. To all my returning subscribers I say a very big thank you. On our last tutorial we treated some basics of computer which are a very vital foundation if you have not watched the video please click on the link on the description to watch the previous video. Today we will be looking at 1. Elements of computer 2. Hardwares 3. Softwares 4. Peoplewares 5. Types of computer Please watch to the end and drop your questions, request or suggestions on the comment session below. So what can we say about the elements of computer? The elements of computer can be seen as the complete working circuit of the computer. Elements of computer involves three major elements which include, 1. Hardware. 2. Software. 3. Peopleware also known as humanware. We will be looking at this elements one after the order starting from the hardware. Hardware. These are all the physical aspects of a computer system. They are tangible, that is you can see and touch them. Hardware components are the electronic or mechanical instruments, like keyboard, monitor, printer. What you see on the screen now are clear and precise examples of computer hardwares. The computer hardware helps the users interface with the software and also display the result of the tasks being performed. Hardware can actually be of four types, depending on which function they perform. The four types of hardwares are 1. Input hardware For users to input data into the computer system. Examples, keyboard, mouse, scanner. 2. Output hardware to translate and display the result of the data processing. Example, monitor screen, printer. 3. Processing and memory hardware. Where data and information are processed and manipulated to perform the task at hand. It is also the workspace of the computer, where it temporarily stores data. Examples, central processing unit, CPU, read-only memory, RAM. 4. Secondary storage hardware, where the computer system stores data permanently. Example, hard disk, pen drive. With this concrete information of hardware let us look at what our softwares are. Softwares are nothing but a set of programs, computer instructions, which helps the user to do a set of specific tasks. It helps the user interact with the computer system with the help of hardware. Software as you can imagine, is the intangible aspect of the computer system. It is called intangible because software is cannot physically seen or touched. Basically, there are so many types of softwares, which we will be looking at the two major types as follows. 1. Operating System Softwares These specialized programs allow the communication between software and hardware. The operating systems run all the other computer programs, and even regulate the startup process of the computer. Examples, Windows, Macintosh. 2. Application Software. These are designed to perform a specific task or a bunch of tasks. They can be user-designed, specific to the user's needs, or ready-made application software. Example, Microsoft Word, WhatsApp, Facebook, TikTok, PowerPoint, CorelDRAW. Lastly we will be looking at the last but not the least element of the computer which is the people were also known as the humanware. People were or humanware. This is simply the users of the computer system. That is, you and I. Computing process is incomplete without the presence of the peopleware. Or have you ever seen a computer system working from booting level to performing tasks without a command? I believe your answer is no. So. The people interacting with the computer system are also an element of the computer. We call this element the liveware. They are the ultimate users of the computer systems. Just like every other element, there are three types of people that interact with the system, namely, 1. Programmers. Professionals who write the computer programs that allow users to interact with the computer. They must have technical knowledge of computers and computer languages. Two. System Analyst 
They mainly design data processing systems, and solve problems that arise in data processing. 3. End Users Also known as operators, they are the people who interact with the computer system, this is where most of us come in. Hope this is well understood, if yes then let's move to the types of computer. Types of computer. We will be looking at this in two bases. 1. Basis of data handling. 2. Basis of size. On the basis of data handling capabilities, the computer is of three types. 1. Analog computer. 2. Digital computer. 3. Hybrid computer. On the basis of size. 1. Mainframe. 2. Supercomputer. 3. Workstation. 4. Mini frame or mini computer. 5. Microcomputer. Thanks for your time. In our next tutorial, we shall be looking at 1. Computer virus and antivirus what a virus is, how virus affect the computer and its files, how it is transferred, and how to remove or prevent virus in the computer system. 2. We will also be looking at the mouse, how it works parts of the mouse and how to protect the mouse. Hope this short clip is well understood. Please drop your comments, suggestion, and request on the comment session below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.